In this short video, I want to cover the basics of support beams, how they work to hold up your structures, when to use them, and when not to. In the game right now, the ability to build with wood, stone, and a little bit of iron is possible. You may also have already noticed when you move your mouse from one item to the next as you're building, sometimes you'll see it change to blue, green, or different colors. The coloration is actually feedback from the game's physics system. It's basically telling you how much support that little piece has left to offer. By using that and a combination of what we can learn here about the materials, it's easy to figure out how to best support your structure. One small example right off the bat is the idea of placing a support pole into the ground to support your roof. The amount of support an item has is based off of a number of calculations, one of which is how close it's connected to the terrain. Placing a support pole into the floor instead of into the terrain will make it weaker structurally. If you're adding a new piece to an existing building, holding your mouse over the item will show you the calculation taking place. If you imagine support as links in a chain, it'll make a little bit more sense. The game will look at each link, what the material it's made out of, and determine how supported that structure is. It then uses that calculation to give you a color. You should look at wood as the basic building structure of the game. Even stone structure should involve wood to really be supported well. Wood has a much better ability to support structures horizontally as well as vertically. Stone has a difficult time supporting anything horizontally. You can and should make a lot of really awesome things out of stone. It's a great material to work with, but all of the support it offers is completely vertical, so you usually want to use it at the base of your structure. One really interesting thing that came out in testing is it seems like stone can actually increase the structural stability of wood. When I placed the logs into stone pillars, I was able to actually build even higher than just logs directly into the ground. Once you have access to core wood, the structural support from wood logs is far superior to regular wood. You can support a regular wooden house with them, a stone structure, or anything you want. With any material that supports it, when you build horizontally, it's important to consider how close it is to the ground. It seems like the closer it is to the ground, the further out you can build. As it stands right now, any piece of the landscape, including trees, count as the ground, so you could technically use them to support a structure very, very tall. Now, I use these modes to make these videos, but when I play, I play solo, and the idea of using iron right now to build a structure is insane to me. But ironwood is absolutely amazing. Vikings who have access to both wood and iron are going to be able to have the most fantastic of structures. Ironwood has a little bit of a height advantage, but most importantly, the horizontal advantage is just absolutely stunning. I hope my testing was able to provide for you some clarity on the building and support system within Valheim. If it did, please be sure to give a like to the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Have a great day and good luck out there, Vikings.